Last time we shared a day in the life of a lobster fisherman in Maine, from weird black and white lobsters to monster lobsters. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. And the wind is blowing. So, Genoa out and Oprif too. And we just, I just saw that our, our reef, well actually we're on reef one, and our reef one line has broken. So, it's not completely broken. But I need to be quick because there's a, a lobster pot and we are at this moment. Look at this. It's de-sleeving. Not nice. Because if I if this is going to release then it might not go into Damn. Not nice. So the reef line. Whoa. And I think that lobster pot is getting closer, so I need to get down. The captain's sewing skills fix this in a matter of no time by pulling the sleeve back in its place and stitching it like crazy at each end to secure it back on the core. We just provisioned in Camden and for a change we had lamb. There was lamb available, there was red meat available. Very cheap. Normally uh, here in Maine we only get lobsters. <laughs> and all these shell stuff like uh, clams and oysters and mussels and you know those things what's the other one it looks like a shell there's the shell garage the oil company shell that thing so yeah we i'm full of lobster I'm, we're going now out of maine we decided to go towards boston so we will we will overnight somewhere on the way and maybe do one more stop then we will be in Boston so we are sailing now in that direction we need to go this direction so we we are on our way here to one of these islands here and in the bigger picture <coughs> over here is Port I think Portland and over here oh sorry over there is Boston this is Cape Cod, this thing here. Now we have an appointment, so we need to go from there all the way to Florida. And we have two months to reach there. We just dropped anchor yet. That is Dick's Island. That is Dick's Island. That's Birch Island. And that's High Island. And it's a beautiful morning. And it would be so great to fly a drone here, so to show you guys. But... I crashed the drone and this part here is the part of the gimbal, so the camera is off. Um, <coughs> it's connecting basically the camera to, to this assembly here, actually to this one over here and I had to wait for new parts I've got here a new part so this is the new one, cost $35 and it was $35 and about $40 to get it here <laughs> so it's double the price for this little thing here and then also new propellers because my propeller broke got the screwdriver set a light to put some light on the topic and coffee so let's get this thing started so i run into a problem that i cannot get the cable through one of these little holes here 
because it has to be threaded through this gimbal thing is like why <laughs> and Dremo is going to be a little bit of a fun exercise all that work for nothing damn the instruction manual did not specify the wiring correctly and we blew the camera so a new drone had to be ordered big big damn All the sailboats heading up north and that's what we are, why we are heading south so we are going <laughs> the other way so this little island is where the puffin birds come to hatch the eggs and it was planned for us to come and anchor here but unfortunately the wind direction and the waves is not going to make it comfortable this hall, this is a favorite spot where they come in at. The puffer birds have large triangular bills that can hold several fish at once and change color during the breeding season. They nest in burrows where they mate for life and raise only one chick every year called a puffin. They spend most of their time at sea diving up to 60 meters deep and flying up to a whopping 80 kilometers an hour. On our journey down the coast of Maine, heading towards Boston, we are now going to anchor here at Booth Harbor. Very pretty it looks, but very busy, but not as many lobster parts and the water is much more user friendly for the water maker. just left the booth bay and I was looking at where we're heading and I see there's a buoy or the, a green marker like a starboard marker but that, line, that tourist boat just cut shortcut so I want to see what whether we will run into something and then I see this name <laughs> So what's happening over here? Must be funny business all around. It always looks so nice to see it as long wait. Yeah. And Pietro is again busy with videos. This is how it looks. Sea is not too bad. Sea is fairly calm. The sea is just going like a Boeing. And my speed lock. <laughs> I think it's again dirty, but you can see we are doing around 7.9, 8 knots. And going to the GPS. And we are on our way to Portland, which is somewhere here. That is Portland. The sheet line again. The sleeve pulled in, and now we've got to make a plan en route. So they're de sleeved through the clutch here, and it's all frambled up on the side. 
Hmm. Not a good thing. Hey, not good. Uh -uh. You're gonna have to try and cut it as short as possible. Yo, watch out. Are you ready? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> there we go. Can I turn more? Can I change course? No, it's fine, me. Yes, dear, yes, don't tell me. We are not turning fast enough. Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Portmouth, da da da. Good sunset. We even have some, I'm not sure what you call it, Yankee Doodle music. It sounds like the, that's a fort over there. It sounds like the, the British war music. There appears to be a whole lot of dinghies. Hopefully we won't get locked in or locked out. But now the big question is to find a spot. Oh, these guys put plastic buckets over their props not to get damaged. That's clever. What we've learned is that side is New Hampshire. It's a, new, it's a different state. That side is Maine. So we're still on Maine here. So we realize if we want any Maine lobster, this will be the last time that we can have Maine lobster. Because if we go that way, which we are, we're going to Boston, then it means we will not have Maine lobster anymore. So. Pietro is going to have some main lobster and it's like a mean rum punch and this is one of the owners of this place it's like amazing so we're going to have lobster oh, Pietro is going to have lobster steamers so the owner just gave us a, a lesson how we do that Take it out. Oh. Yes. And you can. I will take the beer off. Yeah. And then I will take that off. Yeah, yeah. You can eat that. You can eat that thing. You can eat it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off. Okay. And then I've got that. No, first in the broth. The, that one. Yeah. And then. So we're gonna go elope and, and pick a lobster. 
All of us. Thank you. Yeah, it's there we go. Okay, but we're going to go get a watch. Let's go. Which way do I go? Yeah, it's good. Take your picture of these guys right here. They're on the video. They're on the video. They're all our friends. This is a video, and she sailed here. And I have tried to elope with her, but I can't get rid of the guy that she came up here with. So we're on the way to the lobster pot. Are we going to do the lobster pot? Yes. And we have to climb over. Oh, God. What's the, where's the biggest one? I want a 1.5. This lady is about to order. Uh, it's my last lobster in yeah, May. Ah, I need to do a one all the way from South Africa, so I need to do a 1.5 1. 1. lobster. 6. Okay. We went all the way on a sailboat yeah. to get this thing. Let me just see. He broke his hand. Okay. Hope Springs Eternal. There's the oh, big one. Oh, that's pretty good size. Look at this guy. Yeah, I like the legs. Yeah, and he's got, look at the size of that. I huh? think that's the one. Yeah, oh, the there. I think that's Save my that one. For... This is my okay. baby. Yeah, but her, you're not here. You're not here. Just like, just like we said, John Marshall. We said, John Marshall had one night late, and then the child was like, how are you? Like, 34. Did he get from my <laughs> uh, a, what do you call it? A lobster cracker. Nut cracker. A nut cracker. This is the lobster. Either are you laughing or are you waiting? The tail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Pepperell right here. Oh Miss Pepperell. Miss Pepperell. <laughs> <laughs> she won. <laughs> she won a lobster. She won a lobster. I had a huge lobster. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Can you say that? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going to put it on that's a wrap guys thanks for joining us on our last days in Maine see you next time if you're going to be around for this winter I love women collectively and men individually <laughs>